Hi everybody, welcome to this video looking at some replays from the Ryder Cup course in the game of Golf Clash. These are my first looks and it's difficult to give you precise adjustments because obviously these are new club stats that we're dealing with, so not yet in any wind calculators. But I will of course uh, tell you how many rings I'm adjusted and we can work out things from that potentially later on in the week. Please do join us on Facebook. Link in the video description down below. Search for BK Golf Clash Facebook group. People are already sharing shots from this brand new course in there as well. Before we look at the replays, don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video and make sure you are subscribed to the channel as well. Don't forget to check out the playlist as well for all content relating to this Ryder Cup tournament. Link in the video description down below. Let's have a look at hole eight then, the final par four of the Ryder Cup course. And again, it is a lengthy par four, so we are looking with uh, the wood club for our approach. Going to show you the replays now and give you my thoughts as I describe the shots. Obviously, we need to get the adjustments refined and actually quantified in terms of elevation once we have updated club stats in our wind apps. All right, here's the drive. Uh, we do have a little bit of tailwind here. This hole is going to be difficult with a power three ball, uh, like a standard Kingmaker or Titan, if we do have headwind, but you're going to have to go full blast. But here I'm stretching out, adding spin. Four and a half top spin, which is all we have available, and two bars side spin to the right. Going with the Titan because I do want that extra bit of wind push. Here I'm going with three to four rings of overpower. If you really want to push this one, then you can, of course, go max OP. Minor great right is still going to be okay. There is a little slope from the right-hand side of this fairway, which does bring the ball back round to the centre. So if you do hit a great right, you're most likely going to stay on the fairway. As long as it's not a hefty one, you're going to be fine. 361 yards, and that is going to be with wood club range now for our second shot. Here, I think, do I want to try the top spin rough bump? but this green does slope uphill from the front to the back. So in the end, I'm going to go with a backspin shot instead. So I'm moving my target around, adding some initial spin, three bars of backspin between one and two left spin, uh, right spin. And then I find here there is a very, very small sticky spot there, which I kind of want to stay in. So I add a little bit of right spin. So I'm aiming at the pin. So it's almost two bars of right spin. And in the end, I just add a bit more backspin and go with 3.2 bars. We are going to come in slightly hot here, but it looks as if we're going to really shoot past the pin. However, here, even with the tailwind, as I said, there is an uphill slope on this green from front to back. So it is definitely possible to come in short and then roll down to the front of the green. Here, the line is very good. Not massively hot, but just a little bit more adjustment needed. We did miss that one right side, but still a very, very good early look at this hole. And even though it's a wood club approach, I do think we are going to see some eagles here, assuming we're going to get some nice adjustments on the second shot. Thank you for watching and good luck in the Ryder Cup. Bye for now.